What's up, Deadheads? It's Brian Castrillo, and it's time to talk about The Walking Dead, Dead City. Now, this show is amazing. This is the one I've been most hyped for. We got Maggie and Negan returning in their own spinoff, and it clearly has a bigger budget, and it shows in the high definition and the production value. But all for episode one, The Walking Dead Dead City scored AMC Plus's biggest season premiere ever, which is fantastic. That shows that The Walking Dead family is behind this, and this bodes well for the Rick and Michonne series, as well as Daryl Dixon while he's off in France. But let's get back to The Walking Dead Dead City. Of course, we got Maggie and Negan, Lauren Cohan and Jeffrey Dean Morgan in their back. And one of my favorite scenes is right in the beginning where Maggie is looking across to Manhattan where a, sa a former savior of Negan has kidnapped Herschel and she's watching these walkers come by and one of them grabs her and Lauren Cohen did so phenomenal in this next scene where she basically is beating down this walker and you can see the passion and anguish in her face um, because of everything that she's been through and just did a phenomenal job. The scene was amazing. Now she eventually catches up with Negan who is also being followed by marshals in who want, basically want to kill him for killing a magistrate and a few of his men. But one of my favorite scenes is Negan is essentially telling Maggie that, you know, everybody's the same now. And how many, you know, fathers and husbands did you kill? But Maggie comes back with equally powerful, basically telling him what he did is unforgivable. Is Maggie going to ever be able to forgive him? Who knows? We'll see as time goes by. But that was a big scene. Now, when the marshals are looking for Negan, they come across this woman that Maggie met in a bar. And by the way, Maggie, holy shit, she is an ass kicker in this in this episode. She, wow, just wow. Um, but he, this marshal's looking for Negan, and she he basically beats up or threatens this woman. Eventually, throws her to who she calls groaners, which I think that's fantastic. Um, going back to that original name for them. And he finds he finds out where she is and they follow him into Manhattan and as they go across um, the the water, it's incredibly spooky. You got the fog rolling in, you got walkers or groaners in the water. Absolutely fantastic. Another great scene is when they're hiding from the marshals as all these walkers are coming through. You got walkers that were falling through the sky and cockroaches are coming out and Negan's like, nope. And then we, we do meet Croat, who has Hirsch, and we have to relive through, you know, Glenn dying, and, which was heartbreaking. But this kid looks just like Glenn, and it's fantastic. I am so excited going forward. What do you guys think? 